hello how are you again welcome to my channel and welcome to my video today I'm gonna be teaching you how to calculate questions on linear motion form to work now linear motion we're talking about motion in a straight line and in most of the cases here we'll be dealing with vehicles or people moving in the same direction or in the opposite direction and the basic thing here is both of them must be moving and uh, the things you're also going to talk about in this video is relative speed and uh, calculating time first of all let's look at an example where we have a car and a bus all of them they're coming from different points or different positions we have on the screen i have showed you some sketch we have two towns or two places a and b a is highlighted in yellow we have a highlighted in yellow that is the first town a and we have b which is highlighted in white is town b we have two vehicles a car and a bus in the diagram as you can see on the screen i have used yellow to represent a car and i've also used white on the right hand side of the screen i have used white to represent the bus in this question or in this setup i also have the distance between the two towns a and b is 500 kilometers now we want to calculate the time taken for these vehicles to move or to meet and more other questions will follow up in the in as we continue with the video let's begin with the first interpretation of this thing so like i've said here we have two towns a and b which are 500 kilometers apart and we have a bus and a car which are moving towards each other now we go here again we have let's go to the left hand side of your screen or of your video on the left hand side i have let's go on the bottom here bottom left at the bottom here i have town a a represent town a and then as we go up we have 10 am that is the departing time of a car i have used yellow to differentiate between the whatever is entailed by the car i've used i've used yellow and uh, in this case as, I, as we go up we have a car which is represented by the yellow box and the speed of the car is 100 kilometers per hour like we've also said the distance between the two towns is 500 kilometers let's go to the far right of your screen we also have at the bottom here of the right part of the screen you have b town b and then we have 10 30 we have 10 30 here the bus b starts at 10 30 am and then we have the bus is represented by white box its speed is represented by 60 kilometers per hour let's see how we calculate the time where the two vehicles are going to meet note here the car which start from town a let's go to the left part here the car which start from the left is starting or it is departing at 10 am and let's go back to the right here you have the bus is departing at 10 30 am so one of the two vehicles has departed earlier from the station and as you can see the car is the is the vehicle which started earlier before the bus started moving so what are we going to deal with this situation so we are going to ignore the bus because the bus is not moving did not start earlier or did not departed earlier let's find out let's talk about the car the car is the one which started earlier so it departed at 10 am so as you can see to the left we have 10 am 
let's go to the right the bus remember started at 10 30 so at 10 a.m the bus had not started the bus departed there at 10 30. so there is an extra 30 minutes which was covered by the car before the bus started now what do you do first let's proceed so as you can see on the top part of the screen of the video we have distance is given by distance before the bus is given by the speed times time now the car started earlier with 30 minutes so 30 minutes the bus was not moving it was only the car which was moving so the car had covered a certain distance which was covered in the 30 minutes so we need to calculate that distance which is covered by the car first before we proceed the formula of distance as you can see on the top of the screen distance is given by speed times time or distance before the bus started is given by speed times time the distance between the two towns, like I said, is 500 kilometers, but we won't use it now. Let's proceed and calculate the distance covered by the car as we wait for the bus to start. Okay. As you can see on the screen, we have the formulas there. Distance covered by the car before the bus is given by speed times time. It is the car which is moving, so we are going to use its speed and time here. We will calculate the time taken. The time we use the time before the bus started. Remember, as you can see, you have seen previously, the bus start. The car started at 10 a.m. The bus started at 10:30, 10, meaning the car had, to, had taken 30 minutes before the bus started. Now let's proceed. Time taken by the car before the bus started. We take the bus which departed the time of the remember the bus is the one which departed late so 30 10 30 a.m subtract the time uh, the early departed time of the of the car which is 10 a.m so we take 10 30 minus 10 a.m we get 30 minutes or you just say a half an hour so a half an hour was the time taken by the car to cover a certain distance before the bus now started to move now come back down here on the screen you say distance covered by the car is given by 100 kilometers per hour which is the speed of the car it is the car which is moving times a half an hour or you say 30 minutes over 60 so you're changing it to fraction then we obtain 30 kilometers well it was the distance covered by the car before the bus started so there's a 50 kilometers covered by the car you're getting on well let's proceed let's go on now as you can see on the diagram the car was initially in the far left now the car as you can see it has already covered 50 kilometers to a certain point now as you can see the car is somewhere in front here now when the car reached at that position as you can see the yellow box that was that was 10 30 a.m that is the time where the bus was also now departing from town b now at this juncture we are going to say let's let's take a look at the diagram we are uh, on the diagram there there is a yellow arrow there's a yellow arrow and a white arrow i have used those yellow arrows and white arrows to show you that at this point both the car which is the yellow car is moving to the town b and the yellow are the white arrow rather is showing the bus moving towards town A. At this case, we can say there is some relative speed which is involved because both the two cars are moving towards each other. Now, because they're moving towards each other, let's look at at the time. The bus now is departing at 10:30, and also the car at 10:30 is somewhere. It has already covered 50 kilometers, meaning there is some distance the distance between the two the two vehicles which is the car and the bus is for 50 kilometers you all know why the whole distance was for was 500 kilometers but the car had already covered 50 which when you subtract 500 minus 50 you get 450 kilometers 
So that is the distance between the two cars. Now that is the distance we're going to use when we are relating the speeds. Now, as you can see there on the diagram, the distance between them is 450. Both the two vehicles are moving towards each other and applying the rules or the laws of relative speed. The, the speeds of the two cars must be added because they are moving towards each other in the opposite direction. So the speed of car is 100 and the speed of bus is 60 km per hour. When you add the two, you'll find this both their relative speeds will be 160 km per hour. Good, let's proceed. Let's find the time taken for them to meet. Remember, both of them, they are moving. The distance between them is 450 kilometers. And uh, we need to find the time taken for them to meet. Now, because they're looking for the time taken and both of them, they are moving, we use the aspect of relative speed. So time taken is given by distance between the two vehicles divided by relative speed of the two vehicles. So going down on the screen, as you can see, we have 450 kilometers, which is the distance between them, divide by, I have added the two speeds because the, the two vehicles are moving opposite each other. So we obtain the relative speed by adding the two speeds, which is 100 plus 60 kilometers per hour, we get 160 kilometers per hour. So drop down there, which is 450 kilometers divided by 160 kilometers, we find that the time taken for them because they are all moving towards each other the time taken for them to meet will be 2 hours and 49 minutes that is the time taken for them to to meet good let's proceed now we want to see we want to find out the time taken for the two vehicles to meet remember whatever we have obtained there was the time taken but we want to find the time when the two vehicles will meet. We want the real time in PM or AM, whether in 24 hours or in 12 hour system. So we have seen already previously uh, before there, time taken for them to meet is actually towards two hours and 49 minutes. So what do we do? Once we have got the time taken for them to meet, we will add those two hours and 49 minutes to the vehicles with to the vehicle rather which started late because that is the time the time when both the two vehicles were moving and the two hours and 49 minutes was the time taken when both of them they were moving they all started moving together at 10 30 a.m so the time taken for them to meet will add with the time when both of them they were moving which is also the time for the vehicle which departed late so which is here in this case we will add 10 30 a.m plus 2 hours and 49 minutes so you can see on the screen there so down on the video screen you will see 10 30 a.m plus 2 hours and 49 minutes which is equal to 13 19 p.m which is actually 1 19 p.m so that is a time when they met remember there's a difference between time taken for them to meet and the time when they met time taken for them to meet is actually the the time taken like two hours and 49 minutes now if they ask time take time they the time they met is actually the real time in terms of the watch hour system so you take the the you take the time in maybe pm or am like uh, for example you can see here is the time taken is one eleven uh, rather 13 19 pm so Ladies and gentlemen, we have already obtained the time taken or the time we have already obtained time taken for them to meet and we also found the time the two vehicles met. Let's proceed. So as you can see there I'm, I have treacherous straight on the diagram. So you can see there on the top part of the video there is in between 100 kilometers per hour and 60 kilometers per hour on the top of the video we have 13 19 pm that is the time when the two vehicles are going to meet and as you can see the yellow arrow and the white arrow are meeting somewhere which indicates the time they're going to meet so you can see they're meeting at 13 19 pm or in 12 hour system you can say 1 19 pm 
okay so we have there as you can see i have also illustrated further so we have the car and the bus on the diagram the yellow box and the white box white box they are the cars and the bus they are showing you they are meeting somewhere they are meeting at 13 19 pm so let's go back to the left to the left part where the car started so the car started at 10 am and it's now meeting with the bus at 13 19 pm let's go to the right we have seen the bus started at 10 30 am and it's going to meet with the car at 10 13 19 pm so we can ask you find the distance of the car from town a when the two vehicles met so i can ask you that find the distance of the car from town a where the two vehicles met it's simple so the distance from where the two vehicles met first of all we know the two vehicles are going to meet at 10 13 19 pm the car started at a go to use the departing time of the car as you can see from my diagram the car started at 10 am and it's meeting the car the bus at 13 19 pm get the time taken for the car to from to start from 10 am to 13 19 pm get the time taken so as you can see down there distance is given by speed times time the time taken for the car to meet the bus you will take 13 19 pm minus 10 am which you get 3 and 19 over 60 hours now the distance of the car from a will be distance given by speed times time speed of the car use the speed of the car because it's the one which is coming from a so it's 100 times 3 and 19 over 60 we obtain 331.17 kilometers that is the distance of the car from down a where the two vehicles met thank you for watching my video see you next lesson subscribe to my channel youtube channel by hitting the notification bell so that you can be able to be updated on any video or any content i'm going to upload in my youtube channel